I can't believe this was like in the ocean a couple hours ago. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Expeditions. My brother's wife, Allie, is here visiting. She brought her friend, Hannah. We're just going out for our first kind of mission. It's quick sunset, starting off trolling for Onos. Might run over to the farm, see if there's any ahis going on over there. Since Shane broke my little jigging rod. I still don't have a little jigging rod, so we might try and troll around over there. I got one trick up my sleeve to do a quick little deep drop. I don't have any bait. It's gonna have to be after dark. We're gonna start off with a quick little trolling, see if we can't rustle anything up. I've got no patience for ono trolling. You know, I'll do it for about 20 minutes and then I'm done. So we raced out here to the farm. I hear the onos are out here, but I've got little faith in that. What I'm really looking for is a little ahi. So I put back a little tube lure that I picked up at Pacific Rim. No idea. There are no boats here, which means the current is going the wrong way. It's never a good sign when there's no boats on the most popular spot in Kona. Ah! Okay, let's do it in. Yeah, but go. Go, 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 go. You, you got sharks. Go. Fast as you can, you got sharks. Oh, cool. Fast as you can, fast as you can. Go, 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 hard. This is your sashimi. There's your flying fish. Go. Yes. Well, guys, that didn't take long at all. First pass, tiny little tuna tube lure there. We got something. We hope we beat the shark. You got it, you got it. Okay, keep going, keep going. Boom. Okay, okay. You, right you got it, you got it. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, yellowfin. Yellowfin tuna. Oh, Allie, that is a huge Woo! one. That is a yellowfin freaking tuna. Oh, cool. That is Woo! a good fish right there, guys. That is freaking dinner. You got poke bowls. Woo! You crushed it. We're making poke bowls tonight. That's it. Stoked. Allie, your first tuna? Woo, first tuna. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Fish on! Head on, first tuna! You gotta go, you better fight go, that. Go, go, go! Real, real, real! Real, real, real! Oh, there's your sharky. There's your sharky. Yeah. Keep going. Play the dolphin coming. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, still there, still there! You're good. Keep going, keep going, don't give up. Did you lose it? Yeah? Another dolphin? Yeah! We were packing up to leave and just everything started leaping out of the water. Guys, I've never seen this before. We're talking tunas everywhere, annihilating the flying fish. All we had left was like a topwater lure. Put that thing back. It's got nail. Nice, nice, you got it. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, I would like it to be known that hers is bigger. <laughs> topwater plug at sunset. Freaking. Oh Working. That is poke bowls. Race out here, right at sunset. Two more ridiculous fish there for the cooler. Woo Woohoo! God, yeah, this one's your fish! You got it, you got it. Okay, stop right here. Whoa, yeah. that's the biggest one yet! Check that thing out! Woo. Guys, that is a proper freaking fish right there! Woo. Look at that! Oh my god! Anna, that was you! <laughs> Ridiculous sunset tuna bite there. I've never seen anything like it. It was like the ocean was mostly still, no boats around, no bait, no big tunas jumping. And then as soon as like the sun went down, it was like the water was alive with flying fish and there were just massive boils all over the place. We got what, three, four immediately like that. I put out the top water, we caught a couple like that. Just freaking super, super cool to see that out here. You just never know. I got one more quick spot. We're gonna go to my deep drop spot. I haven't been there in a really long time and I've only been there one time at night. I'm gonna put some tuna belly on there and a couple secret weapons and we're gonna see what happens. I got Berkeley Gulp Glow. Because we got some ahis, I'm gonna put a couple chunks on here. I did a five hook rig. I am so sick <laughs> of circle hooks, guys. Like sitting here and waiting for the freaking things to get on the hook. And I, you guys have seen those videos. I, it's so frustrating. So I've switched to sim, sim, some simple J hooks. I'm gonna drop those. I'm gonna put two glows and three baits and we're gonna see what happens. So Sam took the rod away from me. As I should. <laughs> we all know. 
catches more fish on this boat. Okay, but this is my plot. This is my plan. When she doesn't catch a fish and somebody has to reel it back up from 524 feet, she's going to say, I'm done. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I'm looking for a man who doesn't know my tricks yet. <laughs> Sam just made the bottom. What do you got? What do you got? Ah! What? Whoa! Did you just get a fish? Yeah, no! Sam! You still got him? Still got it? I have no idea. Okay, well, feel it. Yep. Oh! oh! Don't get too excited. Just five minutes of this. Oh, this is the worst experience. <laughs> Guys, like this video so that maybe someday we can afford some electric reels. She's very excited about the little thing swimming around the boat. I would come over there, but the boat might flip over if all of us are on the same side. No! We don't want to end on this boat! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Did you catch it? I believe this will be Sam Graham's first and last drop. Yep. 100% success rate. I roll. Oh, oh, color. No. Something else. It was color. something else. Oh, oh, little needle fish, friends. Look at that. You're not there yet. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, why don't you Okay, you got color, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, easy, flip it, pull. Watch all those hooks, the deep water mapache. Look at that. That is a freaking slug. Deep water pachi, how is that? I just thought it would be cooler. Worth it? I don't know. <laughs> He's back for another drop. I'm just dropping. Oh, you're just dropping? You're just doing the fun part. Can you turn the boat so that the wind blows my hair behind my face? <laughs> Let me see what I can do. What was the song? Um, so it's about dropping down. There's many songs about deep dropping because you're sitting here for so long that you can get plenty of time to get creative. Wine between your legs, catching fish. You're just gonna hook it and pass it off? Is that your plan? I'm not gonna hook it. Might as well be me. There you go. Okay, Hannah, this is you. Are you ready? Consistently crank. Yep, just consistently cranking. Nicely freaking done. Yeah. Sam Graham. Expert cooker. <laughs> oh, you you gotta keep going. What happened? I don't know. Did you get eaten? Something ate you. <laughs> oh, we got a shark. It's not your fault. Head in. Now it's raining. There you go. What is that? You ready for some fish? We made it home, which is always a good thing whenever we go out on that boat. We're always hey. like, every time we come back to the harbor, we're like, <gasps> We made it again, guys. So I got these couple tuna. It is late at night. It is like 10 o'clock. We are starving. I'm gonna whack these things up. I'm gonna turn it into sashimi and Sam is gonna heat up some rice from yesterday and we're gonna make poke bowls and that's gonna be it. What do you want? Do you want this? Oh. Cat seat first. I wish that I knew that we were filming this because then I would have prepared. Hello and welcome to Sam May's Expeditions. We're in the kitchen now and we're making this into poke. Sweet onion, green onion, sesame oil, I'll show you, and salt. No Hawaiian salt here, Breta. No, not today. Where is our Hawaiian salt? I don't know, Brian probably left it somewhere, to be honest. That's exactly what happened. It smells good. Sometimes I add a little bit more show you, depending on what's going on, but... Looks great. Unfortunately, I just cut this up and I'm kind of afraid of how not tender it's gonna be. Sam just ate a piece. Thoughts? A little tough. A little tough. A little chewy. But it's okay, because we have rice, we have... Ava, we all the fix in, and I'm probably gonna make some spicy now for it. You don't age your ahi, they're just a little tough. And so this one was so fresh, like you guys out there, some places might think that you want your tuna or you want your sushi super fresh, but that's actually not true. And most of the time, like, before we eat anything sashimi, it is aged at least a couple days. Look at that. Check these out. Okay, Avro. Eight onion. That's it. Kalshadi on this one. Would I like a little poke with my futakaki? No. I like it covered in futakaki. All right, Ali, you caught this fish so, like, two hours ago. It was alive. What do we think? 
Yum. So good. Tell me the truth. It's delicious. It really is good. <laughs> Sam again? Uh, I mean, I already had a bite, but. Thoughts? Super fresh. It's really good. Is it? Mm hmm. You don't notice the non fresh, the too fresh tuna? I mean, the tuna is not as tender as I would prefer, but the flavor is amazing. The bowl is amazing. The spicy mayo mm -hmm. is off the hook, off the chain. What are the kids saying these days? It's my first bite. Oh my god, it's so good! You caught one of these too! I know, I'm so excited! I can't believe this was like in the ocean a couple hours ago. Definitely tougher than what we're used to. Usually, like I said, we always age them a little bit. But still, fantastic. Thank you so, so much for watching. Like this video, and then we'll see you next time right here on Ryan Meyer's Expeditions. Feed me. No. This is my bowl. There's no spices. Mm -hmm. No.